You have a hockey bag full of equipment. Now what do you do? Today, we're gonna to talk about how we get properly dressed and the function of each piece of equipment. I'm JFK of My Skate Hockey, and today we're gonna to be talking about what pieces of equipment go where and how to get dressed. So now we're gonna just start off with what we're wearing underneath. In the hockey world, we like to call them skins. You may call them undergarments. Whatever it is, usually it's gonna be a lycra material, very stretchy, breathable, and it, this way it keeps the equipment directly off your skin so you don't get abrasions, and it's a nice way to be able to wash that and have fresh clothes underneath your equipment. You can have a top, you can have a bottom. Sometimes the tops will include an embedded neck guard, so you already have that with you. And a lot of the times the shorts, or you can get long pants, will have Velcros and a box area, so you have your full protection. Once we have our skins on, we're gonna put our shin guards on. Now your shin guards are gonna protect your knees and your shins. This is very important to have the right size because pucks are gonna fly down low, and if you ever take one to the leg, you wanna make sure you have the proper protection. Now once we put our shin guards on, we're gonna pull our socks right over the top of our shins and Velcro it to our shorts. Once you've done that on both legs, usually we're gonna put our pants over the top. Now our pants are a little bit big and bulky, so you wanna make sure you have the right size. Not too big, but also not too small, that there's a massive gap between the bottom of the pants and the top of your shin guards when you're standing up. Another way to also check the height or the length of the pants is by going down to your knees and making sure that there's a little bit of protection. So if you were down on your knees and the puck came at you, you're gonna get that protection on your lower thigh. Now, once you have your pants on, don't tie them up yet because we're gonna to have to do up our skates. We're gonna put on our left skate and our right skate. Some people get a little bit of superstitious on which side to go first, but it doesn't matter. Once we put our skates on, we wanna make sure that we lace them properly making sure that we loosen the skates up so our foot slides in, and then we're gonna tighten them from the bottom, working our way up to the top. Now when you tie your skates properly, it should have a nice little overlap over the top of the foot, and you should make sure that it should be parallel. This way we know that it's tight, it's snug, but we don't wanna do it too tight, nor do we wanna have it too loose where it doesn't give us the proper support while we're on the ice. Now that our skates are done, we're gonna tie up the pants and we're gonna work with the upper body part of our equipment. Next, we're gonna put on our shoulder pads. Once again, our shoulder pads are gonna protect more than just our shoulders. They're gonna protect our sternum, abdomen, our back, and even our biceps. Now, when you have shoulder pads, we wanna make sure that they fit properly. And what does that mean? That means that there's a little bit of an overlap with our pants, so there's not a much of a gap, but also that our shoulder caps fit properly into our shoulder pads. We don't want a lot of space because if there's a lot of space between our shoulder pads and our shoulder cap, that's gonna create more opportunities for injuries. Honestly, I would say I would rather have the shoulder pads a little bit snug, maybe a little bit on the smaller side than having them oversized. When they're oversized, it's gonna cause injuries and we don't want that with our players. Next, we're gonna put our elbow pads on because those are usually the first things that hit the ice when we fall down. We usually put our elbows out so having a properly fitted elbow pad is gonna be great for your hockey experience. Once you slide on the elbow pad, strap the Velcros on, you should be good. So now we have all of our equipment on, and as we mentioned earlier, if your skins don't have a neck guard embedded into them, this is the time that you're gonna put your neck guard on. After you place your neck guard on, put your jersey over the top, and then we're gonna grab our helmet. Once we put our helmet on, whether you have a cage, visor, up to you. We're gonna clock in our helmet, we're gonna grab our gloves, grab our stick, and we're gonna hit the ice, ready to go, and ready to have some fun. Thank you for watching this video, and hopefully you feel more confident putting your equipment on. And you know the functions of each piece. I'm JFK of MySkate here at Coburn Ice Arena, 401 Progress Drive, River Lake. And we'll see you on the ice soon.